In this video, I'm going to take you through Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap is a decentralized exchange which is based on the Binance Smart Chain. If you're familiar with the likes of Uniswap or SushiSwap, you'll have no problem understanding and getting to grips with Pancake Swap, which is very similar in design. However, the main difference is that instead of using the Ethereum network, you're going to be connecting to the Binance Smart Chain and trading BEP20 tokens as opposed to Ethereum or ERC20 tokens. At the time of this recording, the Ethereum network is heavily congested and gas fees are at an all-time high. Therefore, many users are trying to find ways to save money on fees when interacting with decentralized apps or DeFi. One such way is by using apps that work on the Binance Smart Chain instead where the fees are considerably lower, plus in my experience, it's fast. PancakeSwap uses an automated market maker or AMM model, meaning that there's no order books and they use liquidity pools instead. But PancakeSwap isn't just an exchange. You can also earn by becoming a liquidity provider and adding your tokens to the liquidity pools. You can farm your LP tokens and stake your cake to earn rewards. Plus try your luck in lotteries and NFTs, and I'm going to walk you through all of this today. And PancakeSwap also had their own cake token too, which has recently rallied and has a circulating supply of 117 million cake tokens. To get started, you'll want to head across to PancakeSwap.Finance and you'll need to connect up a compatible wallet that's connected to the Binance Smart Chain. As you can see, you can connect up the likes of Metamask, the Binance Trust Wallet and the Binance Chain Wallet. I'll be connecting up my MetaMask wallet today, which is connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you're not too sure about how to do this, then you can check out everybithelps.co.uk, where you'll find my full tutorial where I explain how to connect up your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. Then once that's set up, you'll need some BNB to pay for the transaction fees. Now I've got some BNB plus the cake tokens over on the Binance exchange that I'm going to send across to my wallet now. If you don't already have a Binance account, then I've got a link below that will give you some money off your trading fees. So first, I'm going to withdraw my BNB. And I'm going to need to copy my MetaMask address from the top of the screen here, where it states account. Then I can paste that into the recipient address. And I'm going to transfer using the Binance Smart Chain network, as that's what our wallet is connected to. And I'm going to go ahead and authorize that withdrawal now using my YubiKey, which I use instead of Google Authenticator as my extra level of two-factor authentication. And if you want to find out more about YubiKeys from Yubico, then you can check out my tutorial. And next, I'm going to transfer my cake tokens using the address from the top of the screen here. And again, I need to paste that into the recipient address. And it automatically has the Binance Smart Chain Network selected for me. And I can view the transaction on BSC Scan, which is very similar to the likes of Etherscan, but it's for checking your transactions on the Binance Smart Chain instead. And you can see my tokens for that address under the token drop down here. However, when I head across to my MetaMars wallet, only the BNB tokens are showing here and not the cake tokens. Now, if this ever happens, you can always head to the likes of CoinGecko and search for your token which in my case is obviously cake. And besides where it says contract, you'll see a MetaMask icon to add the contract to MetaMask. And once that's been added, you can now see that my cake tokens are now appearing in my MetaMask wallet. So once we have some tokens to start trading with, let's head across and connect up our wallet. Now the first section that I'm gonna show you through is how to exchange. And just be aware that sometimes when you navigate to different areas of the site, it does disconnect you. So it's worth just double checking that in the top right hand side of the screen that your address is showing. Plus, you'll also be prompted to unlock your wallet. And I have some BNB in my MetaMask wallet, which I want to exchange for more cake tokens. And it will show you the estimated amount that you're going to receive. And this is because there can be slippage, there's some fees to pay and also some price impacts due to the movement and the size of the liquidity pool. Underneath, it shows the minimum that you're going to receive 
and a transaction will revert if there's a large unfavorable movement before it's confirmed. It'll also show the price impact here, which is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade price. Plus it shows you the fees that you're going to be paying here, which goes to the liquidity provider, which we'll look at earning in a moment. And the settings for your slippage tolerance and the transaction deadline can be edited by clicking onto the settings icon in the top right hand side of the screen. Now if this is the first time you're interacting with swaps, you may need to approve the interaction with your wallet, plus you're going to need to pay a small fee to do so. Then when you're happy, you can swap, where you'll then see a confirmation of your order. And you'll need to confirm the swap from within your wallet, which in my case is obviously Metamask. And that transaction went through really fast. You can see here that I've only paid 15 cents, which is minimal. And now that I've got my BNB &B and my cake tokens, I can provide liquidity to a pool. So if I head to the liquidity tab now, this is where you can start earning those fees that we just had to pay when we were exchanging. So I'll just click on to add liquidity and I'm going to be adding to the BNB and the cake pool. When you enter in the amount or you click on to max in either input field, the equal share will then populate in the other box. And this is because you'll need to deposit an equal share of tokens into the pool. And you may also need to play around with these amounts a little bit as you'll need to have BNB to pay for the fees too. And you'll then see the prices in the pool share and the share of the pool that you're going to have after supplying the pool. And again, in the same way as approving the interaction with your wallet in swaps, you're also going to need to do the same thing for pools here before you can confirm your supply. And you'll need to pay fees again in BNB here. Then we can supply and confirm in your wallet again. Where you'll see that that's just cost me 25 cents. Now when you add liquidity, you receive pool tokens called liquidity provider or LP tokens. These tokens essentially track your contribution to the pool and you'll earn fees proportional to your share of the pool, which can be redeemed at any time. The liquidity that you provide is then used when someone makes a trade. And in this example of BNB and cake on PancakeSwap, Therefore, it's worth mentioning that the ratio of your tokens might change over time, meaning that you could end up with more BNB or more cake, depending on the way people are trading. You can deposit your LP tokens and lock them up in a process that will reward you with cake rewards. And again, you may need to approve the contract if you've not already done so. Once that's complete, I can now state my LP tokens. And it shows my balance in here and I can manually enter in the amount that I want to stake. Or I can click onto the max button to stake them all. And again, confirm this in your wallet and pay your fees. And you can view further details here showing you the deposit and the total liquidity. And you can unstake your tokens at any time and there's no lockups here or holding time. And you can do this by clicking onto the minus button or you can click onto the plus icon to add more. And this doesn't just stop here either, as you can go one step further and earn even more by staking your cake in what are named syrup pools. So, so far, we've deposited some funds to receive LP tokens, which we've then used to farm cake. From there, you can then stake your cake and earn other rewards through special staking pools. So if we head to pools, you're now in the syrup pool and can stake cake to earn new tokens. And this was essentially named syrup pools as you used to be able to earn their governance token named syrup. However, this came to a halt after an exploit was found in the syrup smart contract. Currently, the bigger syrup pool is simply for cake, where you can stake your cake to earn even more cake. But there are several other tokens that you can earn by staking cake too. And you'll obviously need some cake to stake, which you can trade for, or you can wait for your rewards to build up from staking your LP tokens. To get staking, you'll first need to approve cake. And you can see that the APR is currently 138%, which is pretty good. I'm going to approve now and click onto the plus icon. Then I'm going to stake all my cake tokens by clicking onto max. Then confirm. 
and it will then show you your stake under the cake pull here. Okay, so that's all our staking and earning done for now. But the next thing that you could do is enter a lottery on PancakeSwap. Each lottery session takes six hours with a ticket costing 10 cake. And this gives you a random four digit combination of numbers between one and 14. To win the jackpot, which is 50% of the entire lottery pool, the numbers in your ticket need to match all four numbers in the same position as the winning ticket. If your numbers don't match all four, you can also win rewards if two or more of the numbers are in the same position as the numbers in the winning ticket. And there's also NFTs, where you can win some NFTs on the Binance Smart Chain. If you're chosen as a winner of an NFT, you can trade it for the cake value that it represents, or you can keep it in your wallet as a collector's item. But that completes my overview of PancakeSwap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.